Hello. This week we have a text from the book of Habakkuk. It's one of what it's called one of the 12 minor prophets. And if you haven't heard about it or don't know where to find it in your Bible, don't worry, you're not alone. It's not a text often used in our churches. However, it starts with a very universal plea. The prophet says, How long shall I cry for help, O Lord? The prophet, from what we understand, live in a society in in midst of a lot of turmoils. Uh, there's a lot of wicked people abusing their power. There's a lot of injustice and a lot of deceits. And the prophet turned to God and said, Where are you, God? Why are you not intervening? And this speak to us it maybe speak to a little more to those who would live in a situation of oppression uh, i might think of african american in america uh, first nation in canada minority from around the world who struggle based on what their ethnic origin their language their religion they they struggle and they ask God we're supposed to be the good guys here why are we suffering and God replied to Habakkuk and said I have a vision for the appropriate time wait for it and it's definitely not the answer that we like to hear probably the same thing for Habakkuk because most of us when we see a problem when we see a struggle well we want to do something and something now that will have an impact now solve the situation now that would fix it now but sometimes an experience teaches us this some situation there is no such thing as a quick fix racism for example we cannot say, oh, we will elect a black president and there's never going to be racism in America. We cannot say that, oh, gays, lesbian, uh, bisexual, transgender, queers, well, they have constitutional right, recognized constitutional rights, so there's no such thing as discrimination anymore. No, there's still things like systematic poverty. Uh, there's a lot of complex issues that takes time and it's it's it gets on our nerve but what Habakkuk teach us is not that because God does not intervene right away in the way we want it in the place we want that we should give up that we should say oh there's no such thing as a God no Habakkuk keep his faith in God and he keep challenging the system and he keep challenging his God if you're the good the God of the righteousness maybe it should show sometimes it it this this story talk about us because sometimes we we feel this urge to go to people who are struggling and say, well, here what you have to do, we have all the solution, we're gonna tell you what to do. But most often, the best approach is to sit down and to shut up and listen. Listen to what they can teach us about their situation and then become ally in their struggle, in their fights. It's this text is about accepting that profound transformation will not happen overnight but still we should not get discouraged we maybe should look at it from god's perspective from look at the big picture i would say and change our happening and we should keep faith we should keep working we should keep challenging the situation that's all for me for today. I'm Stefan Vermette. I'm the lectionary man. Thank you for watching. And until the next time, I hope you will have a great week. Bye-bye.